hello guys welcome to another exciting day welcome to my channel welcome to yj digital world i remain your regular host Agu joseph on today's video i'll be guiding you through on how to create a fashion flyer for a brand okay in doing this i'll be making use of photoshop 2020 please if you are new to my channel do well to subscribe turn on the post notification to get notification whenever i upload new content if you are an existing subscriber thank you for always tuning in okay in this video i'll be guiding you through how to create wonderful layout and how to create custom background that will work very well with your design project okay one of the importance of good layouts is it enables you to control the eyes of your audience of your reader okay so if your design is well structured and well arranged properly it will help to control the eyes of your audience okay and one of the ways in which you can do this is by creating hierarchy among elements of your design in terms of text in terms of objects in terms of shapes okay so without further ado let's get into the design process so first thing first we have to create the canva workspace on which this design will be carried out on so click on the create new on the photoshop interface okay so over here i'll be calling these files okay there is fast fashion house i'll be calling this so we'll be making use of the unit measurement of inches four width four inches of width four inches uh, five inches of height precisely resolution remains at 300 color mode remains on rgb okay precisely because we are not printing this it will be made use on social media platforms it's not for printing purpose so after that we'll leave other settings the way they are and click on great okay so ladies and gentlemen this is our canva workspace in which we'll be carrying out this okay so one of the ways uh we achieve success in our design uh, as a graphic designer is to create wonderful layout okay and wonderful layout is key in design okay so let me explain further so before designing any form of project carrying out any form of project after receiving the design brief from the client okay one of the things you do is get the information from the client go online go to platforms like pinterest and the rest of them okay you source for ideas instagram and the rest of them as well you search for for uh, designs okay related to the project okay so from getting some designs that catch your attention you can be able to come up with your own design layout okay in carrying out a good and a wonderful project okay so in doing this i've already gotten uh, other designs which will serve as my mood board for this project okay so after making use of those other people designs looking at how they made how they arrange their information how they place their images how they play with colors i've come up with my own idea on how mine should look like okay so there's nothing you want to create in the design world that is actually new we only build from the knowledge of others so let's get into it so here i'll come here i'll pick my rectangle to i want to give you a little illustration here okay i'll come over here here i'll be placing a an image over here that will help uh, illustrate or give better illustration of my design okay here i'll be placing the model image i want to use for this design over here i'll be placing the logo of the brand over here i'll be i'm replacing uh the theme of the event okay I'll be placing it over somewhere around here okay that's for that around here as well i'll be placing the date and time of the event then over here i'll place the location okay here first thing i'll place an image my model image over here here i'll place in the logo here i'll place in the theme of the event okay that is what i'll be doing here here i'll be putting the date and time precisely and over here i'll be placing in the the actual address where the event will be carried out on 
it will be it will be taking place in precisely so i think i believe you understand what i just explained just now so let's get into the design phase so first thing first uh here are the exercise files that i'll be using for this project okay the the link to this exercise files is in the video description please check the video description you get the link to the exercise files okay so i have to select the two images and drag them into my photoshop canva workspace so after dragging them into my photoshop canva workspace i have to check okay so i will have to disable the visibility of this model layer here so after disabling the visibility, hit Ctrl T on this image precisely. I want to transform and scale up the size. Okay, hold Alt left click to scale up from the middle. Okay, so adjust the position of this this way. Click on the check. Okay, so after doing that, the next phase of this project will be working on the model image. So I pick my move to have already enabled the model image. I'll adjust the position, hit Ctrl T to scale up. Okay, but before doing that, please, you have to confirm if your model image is converted to a smart object. By doing so, it enables you to maintain the actual image resolution of the model image. Okay, so it's already converted to a smart object. So when you scale up and scale down the size of this image, it won't actually lose uh, its quality. Okay. So here yeah, I hit Ctrl T to transform and scale out. Okay. I think this is looking nice. It's looking good enough. So I'll position the model image somewhere around here. And after doing that, I'll check. Okay. After doing that, I'll check. So the next phase, I'll be making a duplicate of this model image by hitting Ctrl J on the keyboard. Right click and click on the clip max precisely. Okay. So here, yeah, what I'm about to do is trying to improve the sharpness of this model image. So I'll do that by coming to my filter here, all the way to orders and all the way to high pass. So I'll set my, my settings this way. So the one of the ways you can enhance your model image is by reducing uh, the noise that is the, the high pass rather so that you see most of the skin uh, textures okay rather than seeing the skin color I need it to be I think somewhere around this okay if you notice I can't see the color of the skin or any of the images okay I think this is good enough so I'll click on OK come over to my blending and change the blending to about soft light precisely so after doing that we'll move to the next phase we have to add a little bit of brightness to this model this image is actually looking dull so i'll click on the clip max here precisely this and this uh, curves are made up of uh, three regions here are called the highlights the middle parts are called the mid tones and here are called the shadows so i need to add highlights to this model image precisely I think it's looking good this way and I need to add a little bit of shadows on this model image if you notice all the effect is only on the model not on the background precisely I think this is actually looking okay so after doing that I'll close this move to the next phase of this project okay so come to my adjustment panel here all the way to where I have my my selective colors okay so I have to also clip max it okay so but before proceeding I want to work on my background okay so if you notice my background is too busy so I have to make a background that will create contrast so that when I place uh, my information on the background there will be uh, a feel of contrast between the background and uh, the information I'll be placing okay so that uh, when I place the information the information will be visible on the background because if I place an information on this background you won't actually be able to actually see the the information properly so one of the ways I do this is by creating a solid field using my adjustment panel here come over here 
I'll be picking the color from the skin of my model precisely over here. I think this is good. I'll click on this. Okay. After doing that, I'll drag this layer here beneath this layer. Okay. That is beneath this precisely. Then I'll select this layer, slide over to my blending and change it to multiply. Okay. And this is actually looking nice. So after doing that, I'll come to my filter here and slide over to blur, Gaussian blur. I want to blur out some of the pixels so that when I place my information around this region, it will be more visible. Okay, I think this resolution, this pixels is good enough. 8.2 pixels, that's what I'm using for this. Okay, so after doing that, I want to group my layer so that my layer panel will look more neat and organized. Select the first layer, Hold shift select the last layer of my background and hit ctrl G on my keyboard. Ctrl G is being used to group. So I'll double click and call this BG which stands for my background. Okay. So here I added a selective color layer here earlier if you can remember. Now what I'm trying to do in this project is try I'm trying to make the colors on the model uh, clothes pop pop up properly. Okay, I notice the colors are too dull, they are not uh, as bright as I want them to be. So, all I have to do is to come to where I have my selective color is selected here. Now, I want to make you understand that under the selective colors, you notice you have various varieties of colors precisely. But one thing I want to make you to understand is that these colors are made up of the two color schemes of the CM. YK color scheme that is the CM magenta yellow and the black okay that is the CMYK why are the opposite side are uh, made up of the RGB color scheme that is the red uh, green and the blue okay so the opposite of cyan here is red the opposite of magenta here is green the opposite of yellow here is blue so now I need to work on the reds on this model image precisely so I've selected the red okay so instead of me increasing the cyan cyan is as if i'm adding a, a, a lighter shade of sky blue to my red but this time around i need to add more red to the red on the model image that is on the model clothes you can notice if you look closely you can see the effects on the clothes and even on the body of the model so later we'll remove most of the reds on her body okay but before then so i will want the color to to be brightened up so i think this is actually good enough that is for the reds so i'll come over to the next channel which is the yellow precisely so i'll come to the yellow here i'll also scale down the i'll also increase the yellow and you can see the effect you can see if i slide it this way i'm adding more of of yellow if i slide this we are adding more of uh, the shade of uh, blue of magenta so i want to add more of yellow to this project so i'll scale it to about i think this yellow is strong enough this way so i'll move to the next one which is the green i need the green to be popping out properly so i will slide over here where i have my magenta instead of increasing my magenta i'll be scaling down the size okay i'll scale it this way you can see the effect on my greens okay so i'll scale it this way i need the greens to be more visible okay so after doing that we'll move to the next color which is the cyan i notice there is a little bit of cyan in this image so all i have to do is to go to where i have my cyan on this wheel and scale it up you can see the effect on my on the cyan and notice if i scale it this way see the effect if i scale it this way i'm adding more of red so i'm scaling up the cyan so over here again i'll select blue okay after selecting blue i also scale up the side the the radius of the cyan as well oh, on this okay i think this is also good also take it this way to add more of blue to this okay likewise for for my cyan here can also add more of blue to this that is on the 
uh, under the cyan color scheme i'll reduce the yellow to add more cyan to the project okay i think this is also looking nice it's actually looking nice it's actually looking nice so i think this is good for for this project so after doing that we are good to go for that now if you can see this is before and this is after before and after on my model so i can come over here again slide over to my adjustment panel click on the hues and saturation click on the clip marks i need to reduce the saturation on my model precisely okay i think this is looking nice on the model so the next phase here i need to take out those yellow those red tones that are on the model image precisely i need to take them out make sure that the layer marks of my selective color is selected and make sure that my foreground color is set on black not white make sure it is set on black okay pick your brush okay and right click to make sure that you are on the soft round brush precisely okay use the open and close bracket key beside your p button on your keyboard to scale up and scale down the actual size of your brush okay after that make sure that your flows and your opacity are set on 100 percent then make sure that your vector max layer is selected then you come over here and brush okay by doing so you are taking out most of the red tones on the face of the model okay i'm trying to take it out from the body of my model i only need the effect to be on on the on the clothing okay so i'll be taking this out i think this is good enough scale down the size control plus to zoom in and also take out some of the colors from this part okay so let me zoom out a little okay so this is before this is after you can see that most of the effect is on the model clothes and a scarf okay that is where you have most of the effect on this project they are no longer uh most of the effect on the skin of my model so i've taken them out so we are done with this particular face of the model image so i'll select the first layer hold shift select the last layer of my model image hit ctrl g on my keyboard to group them and call this model okay that's for that so the next phase will be placing in our information but before doing that we have to create our guide we have to set our guide our guide enables us to place our text and other information in a in a way arranged and organized manner so i'll come to my view here and turn on the new guide i think this parameters is good enough okay here are the settings i'm using for my guides precisely so i'll be clicking ok for this so I'll come over to my resource panel here that is my exercise files so i'll drag in the logo of the brand i'll check here right click to convert it to a smart object so that i can maintain the actual resolution scale down the size hitting ctrl t and scale down the size i'll position the logo around somewhere here around somewhere here is good enough for the logo okay so after doing that i'll check I'll slide over to to my notepad here and drag in other set of information such as this i'll copy it in pick my text to that picking my text to change my font to montserrat that's the font i'm using for this project okay i'll left click and paste in the text check change the color to white precisely okay then change the font to about let me say bold okay let me change it to semi bold precisely then the present text i'll select it and change it to regular okay 
I'll also check. So after I do that, hit Ctrl T and scale it up a little bit. Scale up the size of the text, okay? And position it around somewhere here. Scale it up again. I think this is good enough. So I want to create contrast among this. So I'll highlight this particular set of text. Click on the color uh, picker icon here. I'll sample the color along uh, from the model image precisely. I think this is good enough for this. Click on this and check. Okay. So after doing that, I'll come to my notepad, copy the next set of text, which is called the theme of the event. It's called Lagos Fashion Week. Left click here and paste in the text. Check. Ctrl T to scale up the size. Okay. So the font I'll be using for this will be called uh, Agency. So here is my character panel. In case you don't have your character panel here, you can slide over to the window and click on character panel. It will come up. So I'll change this to Agency. That's the name of the font I'll be using. Agency FB. That's the name of the font. Change the color to white. Click on OK. Hit Ctrl T and scale up the size of this particular text okay check okay so let me still scale up the size a little i think this is actually looking nice okay that's for this so the next phase of this uh, design project will be placing in the date and time in which this event will be taking place so i'll come to my to my shape tools here and pick the eclipse precisely I'll left click hold shift to create a perfect circle okay I think this works well for me okay so here I have to change the color of this to this okay I picked this color from the model from the colors on her on her clothes on her clothes precisely so I, I picked the color from this purple on her clothes precisely so after doing that i'll hit ctrl t to scale this down a little okay and this is looking nice hit ctrl g to make a duplicate hit ctrl t scale it down check okay after doing that i'll turn off the fill sorry turn off the fill and turn on stroke okay i'll set stroke to about two pixels okay pick my text tool here and come over here copy the date of the event okay that copying it hit control plus to zoom in and move your mouse around the circumference of this circle all i have to do let me zoom in properly all i have to do is to left click if you notice my mouse pointer changes from this to this uh, along the circumference I just left click and paste in the text okay i'll check here change the font to montserrat precisely i'll change it to let me see semi bold uh, let me change it to medium precisely okay after doing that pick uh, your direct selection to precisely over here and adjust this this way okay sorry ctrl minus drag this this way and adjust this this way i need the text to start this way i think this looking nice pick my text too and make a little correction on the text okay i've checked ctrl ctrl enter to check okay so after doing that i'll come over here hit ctrl t to scale down the actual size of this okay and this is looking nice okay so after doing that select the text layer under your text uh, under your character panel here you have uh, these sliders over here which is called set the baseline uh, sh uh, shift so i'll shift it i'll hit it to about let me see about minus two is okay 
So after doing that, all I have to do is to pick my rectangular marquee tool here and come over here and make a selection of this of this precisely okay after making a selection of this then i'll come over here sorry ctrl d make a quick selection of this like this precisely then click on the stroked uh, eclipse and click on the max okay if you notice the down part of the uh, of the stroke has been deleted so you hit ctrl i on your keyboard to invert your selection okay so that's for that so come to here where i have this and also make an adjustment to the text precisely okay i can adjust it this way I think this looking nice okay so after doing that pick my text to again once more and come to my notepad here copy the the time of the event okay all i have to do is left click and paste in the time of the event check change the font i'm still maintaining the same one so that i'll change this to uh, let me say bold okay i think this is good enough hit ctrl t Hit Ctrl T on your keyboard to scale, to transform and scale up the size of the text. Okay, so after doing that, I'll place it along here. Okay, hit Ctrl T, scale up the size. After doing that, make a duplicate of this. By for you to make a duplicate, can hit Ctrl J on your keyboard and use your down arrow key to adjust the position. Pick your text to and edit this te particular text to what that is West African time. Okay, so come over here. Sorry, I'll make a quick selection of this. Hold your control on your keyboard. If you look on my screen, my mouse pointer is where I have the 10 a.m precisely on the T icon I will left click to make a quick selection of the 10 a.m. text okay pick my move to on my tool panel here so I'll align this I'll align this horizontally to the to the 10 a.m. okay so after doing that I'll also adjust the space between the two text select the two set of text and group them by hitting ctrl G okay I'll call this time okay so after calling this time I can come over here and change this to to medium okay that's good enough so I'll select the group call time and scale it up scale up the size I think this is good so after doing that all I have to do is to select the group layer of the time and all the way to where I have my eclipse here okay hit ctrl g to group it okay i'll call this date and time okay hit ctrl minus to zoom in so after doing that all i have to do is to hit ctrl t scale down the size and drag and position this around somewhere here okay and position this around somewhere here precisely okay so you can still come here and adjust select the layers and adjust the position of this set of information ctrl t to transform and still scale up the actual size of this okay i think this is looking nice so we'll go to the last part of this project we will be placing another rectangle at the bottom of this project so i'll come over here create a rectangle of this size okay after creating the rectangle change the fill color to white okay and position it somewhere here i think this is actually good that is on the base of this 
to pick my text to or copy the actual address of the where the event will be taking place precisely pick my text to here left click and paste in the text check change the color to white okay click on the okay okay so here i have the rectangle precisely let me hide my guide ctrl h to hide your guide ctrl h to return the guide back on so here i have my rectangle all i have to do is to to first i have to change the color because white on white won't make the text visible so i'll change it to black precisely so i hold my control on my keyboard to where i have this rectangle okay if you notice my mouse pointer changes to this whenever i touch the control button so i hold the control and left click to make a quick selection of the rectangle then pick my move to make sure that my text layer is selected okay that is the address this is selected this particular layer is selected you then align it horizontally and vertically to the middle of that particular shape okay after doing that you hit control deselect okay so after doing that come to your character panel here increase your your leadings okay so increase the trackings of your horizontal axis okay and still make a quick selection of the rectangle pick your move to align horizontally and vertically to the center okay control control d to deselect okay i think this is actually looking nice okay this is actually looking nice precisely so i can adjust the position of this okay so i come back to where i have my background okay select this particular image hit ctrl t okay and scale the size this way okay adjust the position this way okay ctrl zero to fit to screen okay so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of today's video tutorial if you find this video helpful do well to give this video a like if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to the channel so click on the subscribe button turn on the post notification sign to get notification whenever i upload new content on my channel if you are an existing subscriber thank you for always tuning in please don't forget to give this video a like please give this video a like so if you have any question or comment you can leave your comments in the comment section thank you guys for watching